Okay, I thought I'd just do a quick video before I installed the magneto. We could see things better here a little bit. So I've got the intakes on, the uh, Y adapter is installed, uh, the hoses for the oil cooler are there. We'll go over these fittings real quick. So this is, uh, I always use a 90 degree fitting here for the, for the oil pressure. It'll, the line will come up that way and you can tie it off to the uh, oil cooler lines. Um, intake, Scott's got these marked left and right when they come out of the box. I don't know if there's a difference. Unless he's talking about facing the airplane, I think firewall forward is supposed to be facing the engine, so I do have it on the left and the right, but I couldn't see that much difference, to be honest with you. You know, they've got a little bulb here, because what these are is uh, uh, drain, chrome drain P-trap parts or whatever. So they're super light, durable, you know, metal that way uh, so just make sure you get your hose clamps on tight um, and make sure that things are bottomed out that this tube is bottomed into the tube here clamp it same thing of course at the top there um, then this this is how it mounts so you, this is on the engine already like I said it used to be you had to make a bracket to come off of here now he's machined that all as part of that flange which is great uh, and then I've got the adapter for the oil temperature sender what we use is uh, this high temperature sealant. We've used it forever. It used to be a number 760. That might have been some other brand or something, but it's just high temperature uh, gasket sealer. Works pretty well. Um, like I said, I've got the hoses on here. Just make sure there's a bulb here, of course, at the end of these tubes. Make sure you're past the bulb. Give it a good tug. If you're on the bulb, it'll come right off. Uh, so just check that real close and you should be should be all set so i'll get the magneto on and uh we'll be back in, with you again